Tens of thousands of drivers use Independence Boulevard daily to get mm -hmm. to and from work or school. Yeah, but now the state's planning to devote some of its resources to a stretch of Independence that could use a mm -hmm. little relief. Reporter Anthony Castor is live for us along Independence right near Idlewild in East Charlotte. So Anthony, NCDOT will actually be laying out its plans to revamp that area later today. Yeah, John, they're holding some informational meetings where people can learn more and ask questions. We're going to talk about that more here in just a moment, but I can tell you that I looked through those plans overnight, and we know that this stretch of independence includes plans that would include plans for optional toll lanes. This is aimed to relieve congestion in a city where the population has doubled in the last 25 years. We're talking about the section of independence between Idlewild and I-485. I want to show you a bird's eye view of that area. They had general purpose and auxiliary lanes on one of the busiest stretches. The bus lane would be transformed into express lanes, but those are optional, just like on I-77. Busy intersections would also be replaced with interchanges and overpass bridges. I want to show you an image to show you just how the road would look once construction is completed. You can see the layout of the free general purpose lanes as well as the toll lanes running down the middle there. The Department of Transportation will hold the first uh, two uh, meetings, or excuse me, one of two meetings today at 4 p.m. This is at the CPC's, CPCC's Levine campus in Matthews, and if all goes well, construction on this project could start in 2024. Elsa? Anthony Gastaro, live for us in, along Independence Boulevard.